guys, it's Tuesday and I'm off and I thought since I stayed up till 2 in the morning researching soap making um, that I would go look and see what I could find in the way of stuff here um, that would suffice because I make soap too but I make melt and pour because I've been all afraid of lye and I don't mean lye like I told one I said lye like the stuff that used to make soap. It's cheaper if I just buy the stuff and the lye and batch my own base soap and go from there. As I was saying, my mom is always, when I told her I was making soap, she kind of flipped out a little bit and she's like, well, be careful, be careful because lye is dangerous and, and I was like, yeah. And so I second thought it and I bought the melt and pour stuff that's already made and worked with that first, which is really easy. It's really, it's really user friendly and everything. So. Um, I did that and I have some soaps on my Etsy site, which the link is also in the doobly do. Pretty much everything I do now is going to also be tagged on Pinterest so you can follow me in one place and see everything. And the link is in the doobly do. So I went online to research and see how hard it is to make live soap. So I've decided that I'm going to give it a shot and I like the goat's milk soap and for whatever reason it looked like the goat's milk soap cooked faster than the uh, regular hot processed soap, the regular base. So, um, and I'm, I'm doing goat's milk soap so I'm going to try that recipe or my variation of that recipe because I like to mix things up. Um, so what I'm going to do, like the do man, I've just got all kinds of curly today. Um, is go to Lowe's and see if I can find lye um, because I know some places you can and I've never had a, an occasion to look for it here but some places do still sell it and you just have to know where to find it at. Hang on, let me take a drink. Oh my god, that's good coffee. So what I'm going to do is see where I can hunt down the stuff that I have to have and then I'm going to go online and compare pricing uh, for that and see if I can find it uh, on the cheap because you know me and I like doing things on the cheap if possible. Alright, that was a bust. Uh, apparently they don't sell it in regular stores. I'm still going to look at Walmart when I go there. But I still have to look for it. Uh, crock pot and um, so I can make my soap in the crock pot so that um, the fumes don't fill up my house and I don't risk contaminating my kitchen with caustic substances uh, yeah <laughs> so and so now we are checking back in the Lynn Haven in the heat of my car. Actually, I have all the windows down, so it's probably super loud, and I really hope you can hear me. Um, and there's a lot more over there. Awesome. And the reason I'm choosing hot process versus cold process is because the cold process, you start it out the same. You still heat your oils. You still add the lye while it's warm and do your coloring and scenting and super fatting and all that stuff. Um, but instead of cooking it until the lye is dead, it has to sit for like four to six weeks to cure. And then at that point, allegedly the lye is dead. And I'm sure it works fine. However, I am a big chicken butt and I choose to be safe with my product because I do not want my product to harm anybody. Yeah, and I always test my products out on myself because I would rather hurt me than hurt somebody else. So I test it on me. So I guess in a way my product is animal tested since technically I am an animal. 